How expert! Top 10 most popular sea creatures. How expert publishes quick how to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert Top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 most popular sea creatures. Number 10 Sperm Whale. Sperm whales hunt giant squids using echolocation. Sperm whales are some of the biggest whales in the sea. They're the largest toothed marine animal. Their main food source is the giant squid. Sperm whales dive 1,600 to 3,000 feet just to get a meal. Sperm whales don't have external ears. Rather than using ears, sperm whales hear using their heads. They have a region of fat in their lower jaw that vibrates when sound hits it. This leads to their internal ear, which allows the sperm whale to hear. There's another reason their heads are so big. Sperm whales use echolocation to hunt their prey in the dark. They send out a series of high-frequency clicks and then listen for the echo. Their head has a huge fat sack called the spermaceti. They can channel the clicks through their head, focusing the sound like a beam, like a sonar flashlight. Number 9. Nudie Branch The nudie branch can photosynthesize just like a plant. Nudie branches, also called sea slugs, live on the sea floor. Nudie branches lack a shell, so they are often brightly colored. A warning to predators not to take a bite. Some nudie branches are poisonous, while others are only pretending. One species of nudie branch eats algae as its main source of food, but not because it tastes delicious. They can use the chloroplast to photosynthesize just like a plant does. When they photosynthesize, they don't have to eat again until the chloroplasts die. A nudie branch can last about nine months photosynthesizing before it must eat again. Number 8. Triggerfish. Triggerfish will fight anything, even you. Triggerfish are brightly colored tropical fish. They get their name from a small fin at the top of their spine, called a trigger. When they're threatened, they can hide in a small hole and use this trigger to lock themselves inside. If that doesn't work, the trigger can also get stuck in a predator's throat and stop the predator from eating the fish. Triggerfish have another surprise. These fish have a pair of teeth. They use these teeth when they hunt their main food source, mollusks. They use these teeth to crush the shells of the mollusk. Triggerfish are also very territorial. Males will fiercely defend their mating grounds by biting other fish. Triggerfish will even bite scuba divers that get too close. Number 7. Comb Jelly Comb Jelly creates colorful light shows when they swim. Despite their name, comb jellies are not actually jellyfish. They're tenophores, a group that looks like jellyfish but doesn't have stinging tentacles. They get the name comb jellies because they have a row of growing cilia that they use to swim. These cilia project a blue and green light. When the cilia move, they diffract the light, producing a rainbow effect. Comb jellies are around 500 million years old, and their body is 85% water. Comb jellies eat plankton, crustaceans, and small fish. They can also be cannibalistic. They will eat other, larger comb jellies by biting off small pieces of their body. Number 6. Starfish If you tear a starfish in half, you get two new starfish. Starfish are notably ocean bottom dwellers. While they may appear to be stuck on rocky surfaces, these creatures have hundreds of tiny tube feet on their underside allowing them to sail across the ocean floor. Though it may not look it, the starfish is a ferocious predator of the ocean. They use their strong arms to pry apart the shells of mussels, scallops, and oysters. How do starfish find their prey? Starfish have eyes on the end of each of their arms. When you look at a five-pointed starfish, there are five eyes staring back at you. Starfish can also regenerate. If one of the arms is damaged, it can grow back. Starfish have a central region in their body called the disc. If a starfish is ripped apart and enough of the disc region is intact, they will regenerate an entirely new starfish. Number 5. Portuguese Man O' War The Portuguese Man O' War takes community living to the next level. 
The Portuguese man of war may look like a jellyfish, but this cool creature is actually made up of many genetically identical animals called polyps. These animals are colonial, meaning they cooperate in a group to find food and survive. Individuals are specialized for different body parts. The polyp at the top is called a float, which controls the buoyancy of the man o' war. Unlike jellyfish, the man o' war can't swim. They can use the float to sit on top of the ocean and use the winds to sail around. They also have polyps that form long and stinging tentacles. These tentacles are typically eight feet in length, but there have been some found with tentacles as long as 165 feet in length. Number four, mantis shrimp. Mantis shrimp may be small, but they can pack a punch. Mantis shrimp are a quite unique sea creature, most notably is their iconic punch they use to break the shells of their prey. This punch is one of the fastest movements in the animal kingdom, accelerating up to 50 miles per hour. The punch leaves a pressure vacuum that makes water boil. These water vapors form a bubble. When that bubble collapses, it releases light, a process called sonoluminescence. It also produces heat. The inside of the bubble can reach temperatures of over 7,700 degrees Celsius, hotter than the surface of the sun. And that's not all that's unusual about this shrimp. Mantis shrimp also have amazing eyesight. They have 16 photoreceptors in each eye. Humans only have three, which allows us to see red, green, and blue. Mantis shrimps can also see ultraviolet light as well as polarized light. Number three, horseshoe crab. Horseshoe crab blood saves lives. Horseshoe crabs are one of the oldest animals. They are the only remaining member of a group that appeared 450 million years ago. Though it's called a crab, horseshoe crabs are arthropods. This means they're more closely related to spiders and scorpions than to crabs. Not to worry, their tail looks intimidating, but it's not a stinger. It's called a telson. When a horseshoe crab is flipped upside down, they use the telson to flip themselves back over. That is not the only unusual body part. Horseshoe crab blood is blue. They don't have the protein hemoglobin, which is what gives blood a red color. Instead, they have hemocyanin, which contains copper and gives their blood a blue color. The medical industry uses their blood to detect toxins and make medical treatments safe. If you've ever had a vaccine, you have horseshoe crabs to thank. Number two, anglerfish. Anglerfish are partners for life. Anglerfish are well known for their glowing light, called a lure. The light is a result of bioluminescence. Tiny bacteria inside the bulb glow, creating a soft light that anglerfish use to lure in their prey. Only the females have lures, and they use it to hunt large prey. Anglerfish can swallow fish up to twice their size. Anglerfish also mate in an unusual way. The male is tiny compared to the female. He searches the vast and dark ocean for a female anglerfish. Once he finds her, he attaches himself behind her ear. But it gets even more unusual. Once he attaches, he never leaves. Instead, his body fuses with the female connecting into her bloodstream. He even loses his eyes and internal organs. The male acts like a parasite, relying on the female for all his nutrients. There's no divorce in an anglerfish marriage. Number one, mimic octopus. Mimic octopuses pretend to be other animals. All octopuses are highly intelligent. They've been known to solve puzzles, like opening a closed jar from the inside. All octopuses can change the color of their skin using chromatophores that exist below the octopus's skin. They not only change colors, they can also change the texture of their skin, giving themselves small bumps or spikes to match rocks and coral. Mimic octopuses take it to another level. They are the only species known to impersonate other animals. Mimic octopuses mimic both the appearance and the behavior of another animal. One notable animal they mimic are sea snakes. They mimic sea snakes by hiding in a hole and sticking out two of their arms and rippling them to look like a snake. They do this to scare off the damselfish, who are hunted by sea snakes. They even mimic animals to hunt prey. 
Mimic octopuses can pretend to be a crab ready to mate, only to eat the lonely crab that shows up. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos for all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other topics you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you. Have an amazing day and take care. How Expert publishes quick how to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.